Welcome. Welcome back to Instant Replay Live and Volgar the Viking. Uh, last episode, Joe brought up a random reference to Gravity Falls, and that triggered a memory that I had a dream where my brain kind of, like, stole a reference, or stole references from Gravity Falls and, like, Adventure Time. Shit. And it created a cartoon in my head that I, like, so want to see become a reality. Oh, I like that you can get in the water a little bit. <laughs> so... I don't feel comfortable with this part. Yeah, this is something that I, I think they're gonna like sink. They're gonna sink. I want to be able to throw it, but like that seems cranky. Woo. Okay, so they don't sink too too badly. Oh oh oh. Ugh. Oh my god. Dude, I just vulgared the shit out of those guys. Um, so the the dream, basically like, I was like a kid. And I had another character who was definitely my sister, so it's like... Whoa. You dreamed about me? <laughs> yeah, the world's okay as sister. <laughs> um, see, that's like a robot ball. Dude, we're gonna go to the future. Last... Yeah, yeah. Um, so we went and um, we had this like priest character who was like, I guess kind of the grandpa, f or the, the uncle from Gravity Falls, but not... Um, not directly. I mean, it didn't look like him at all, and it, it didn't really have anything to do with his personality. But um, basically, the zombie apocalypse had happened, so it was a super gritty. And it, it like the premise was like that was the whole show, not like an episode of Gravity Falls or anything where, like, oh, episode of the week, it's zombie time. You know, like the whole premise was the apocalypse had started, and it was super gritty and like dark. Like people were getting like you know eviscerated and whatnot. And um, this this priest was like helping these two kids survive, and he he basically said that the zombies were actually um, demon possessed, and they were coming dude, after the dude. boy specifically. Uh, you have a Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? So Sahogon riding a giant crab robot, crab uh, mount. I forget my dream. <laughs> Reality is continue though. Continue. It's so much better. Take care of it. Okay. Oh. oh my God! I thought it was gonna be a lot harder. Reality is. Hey. This is reality. Reality. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm glad. I, I was getting kind of bored with what I thought was reality. Uh yeah. <laughs> so, oh God, where was oh, I? Shit. Um, oh no. It, oh. It, oh. Oh, basically, like, so the kids' parents had died, and we found out that. Um, the, the whole reason the zombie apocalypse had happened is because... And this is, takes a very, like, Judeo-Christian, like... Well, not even Judeo. Just Christian <laughs> uh, mythology uh, approach to fantasy. But, like, the devil, quote-unquote, had basically um, infested people's, like, evil desires and turned them into <laughs> zombies. So um, any dark desire, they could come after you and potentially turn you... And so the zombies didn't hunt down human flesh, they hunted down people with, like, impurities in their soul. Dude. <laughs> and so, um, turns out, the kids developed the ability, uh, psychometry, kind of like uh, Abe Sapien in Hellboy, where oh, you nice, can, like, yeah. read an object by touching it. And so they were using that power, plus the priest's knowledge of, you know, occult arcanism, and surviving through various zombie encounters and whatnot, but the zombies kept coming after the boy. And it finally got to this point, and the part that, like, was very, like, Gravity Falls about him was that he had the same, like, cap. Yeah. Um, and it finally got to the part where, like, the girl needed to do something to save the boy, but she, she needed his hat in order to do it, or she needed something of him mm. to be able to use the psychometry on it. And, and specifically, she was like, give me your hat. And he refused. And I think I was the boy. I don't know. You know how dreams are. Like, sometimes yeah, you're the yeah, character you... and sometimes you're just watching. Sometimes um, I move from one character to the next. Yeah, totally. Um, but, like, she needed the hat. And he's like, no, I can't. I can't give it to you. And um, Give her the hat, Nick. Well, she finally, like, takes it and touches it. And she sees all of his memories. And what had ended up happening was... She watches through his memories their parents getting eaten by zombies, and that puts so much anger for vengeance in him 
that he was like their prime target because he was like <laughs> harboring so much anger that he could be a super demon mm-hmm. or whatever if they turned him. I want that show. That's, <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's... I woke up so disappointed that that wasn't a real TV show. Okay, but like... did you ever watch Reaper by chance? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he's like uh, hunting for the devil. Made, yeah, I deal with the devil. Yeah. And, yeah. That's pretty good, but that's not the same thing. No, I know. But it's, that was the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, so, I did, and I'm so disappointed it didn't carry on longer. Yeah, because the first two seasons were great. That, it was getting better, too. That poor actor, not the main character from Reaper, but his, like, sidekick buddy. Oh, yeah? He just can't cut it in any show. Like, he's he's kind of like poor man's Jack Black. Yeah. <laughs> and every show he's on gets canceled, no matter how good it is. Yeah, that, um, was, that was a really good show. Yeah, like, he, he can be really funny. He kind of plays the same guy every time, though. That's a, the downside to him. <laughs> but it's because he's never been able to fulfill a character on any show he's played. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Most recently, he's been on a show on Hulu, um, the, the sidekick guy. Yeah. Where he's able to talk to ghosts. Oh, is he the main character this time? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just, it's weirdly filled with raunchy references. Like, I don't know why they decided that it needed to be as raunchy as it is, but it's kind of funny. It's pretty okay. good. It's okay. You know what I didn't do? What's that? Set timer? Yeah. Okay, because it's been going for a bit. Yeah. How long it's been going, but... Probably not ten minutes. We'll go, like, f- four more minutes. Because that'll target us somewhere guy. between ten God and fifteen. And then, uh, and then we'll, we'll just call it episode there. Because <laughs> I am the worst when I start, like... When I start with a story idea, mm-hmm. then everything else goes away. Like, I'm not paying attention all, to the game. Yeah. Everything, how, how all Let's Playing works. What do you mean? It's, well, you forget how to Let's Play. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, talking to the mic and setting a timer and <laughs> everything. But, man, I want that dream. I want that dream again. It's so hard. I used to... I think we've talked about dreams a lot on the show before, but... Yeah. I used to... Be able to, like, go to sleep with a thought enough that I could relive a dream at least, you know? Like, uh, variations on it, anyhow. And now, it's just like, that doesn't happen anymore. I can't get carried away in my my thoughts enough before bed to end up dreaming the same thing. Which is sad. I miss that ability. But it was a good dream. I I do dream about zombies a lot, but it's usually Mm. more, like, survival generic stuff. I cannot say that I dream about zombies very often. I, I do. Uh, and, and I thought about that, actually, because when we did talk about dreaming, you said, like, oh, you miss fighting monsters in your dreams. Yeah. But I think I, vampires. I think I kind of, like, casually agree with, read with you at the time. Mm-hmm. But in retrospect, that's not true at all. I, dr- I fight monsters still a ton. <laughs> that's <laughs> like, awesome. I, mean, I, I do. I, I wish I could control my dreams a little bit better, but I still... Oh, God. Um, I still dream about primarily zombies. Like... I think they've just become so ubiquitous in pop culture that yeah. they're just in my head all the time. God, you can't um, move backwards here or else you get jammed. Jiggity jammed. <sighs> yeah, uh, I mean, I think we mentioned it before, but my dreams are all fears of middle America now and just like regular yeah. regular, regular life. Yeah. I did have a period where I had a lot of nightmares about like someone breaking into my house or um, just other normal terrors, you know? Like mm. just something happening that... That was serious and scary and, um... Spooky scary? Spooky scary, but really spooky scary, not, like, supernatural spooky scary. I don't know what changed that, but I don't have those nightmares, at least, anymore. I think I still have some of those fears in a broad, general sense, but not the nightmares so much. Oh, I thought I... It freaked me out a little bit when we came home the other night and there was a police spotlighting the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Because I was like... I left the door open and Rachel was home alone. Like, I didn't lock the door when we went out. Because we didn't go out. Like, I didn't think about it like we were going out for long, you know? Even though we kind of were. Oh, shit. We went and got dinner. Um, and I just it just didn't feel like it was a problem. But I don't know. It, it's, like, so unlikely that anything would happen. But the constant, like, God, what if something did? Mm-hmm. Just freaks me out. Um like, I mean, we've, you know, we bought an alarm system when we moved in this house, but we, we've we never had a need for it, thankfully. Like, nothing has ever triggered the alarm that was malicious. 
Yeah, I've never been a very paranoid person, but I did the other night have a moment where I was like a little unsure of, of my surroundings. Uh, mm-hmm. I went to go play Magic and I uh, I was walking through Richmond on my way back to the car. Like, at, like it was like midnight that I was getting out of the Magic tournament. Oh yeah, um, and you were downtown. And I was downtown, and I hadn't really I hadn't really experienced Richmond much, so I didn't know where it was safe and where it was like sketchy. Um, and I started off in a kind of busy street, but it was midnight, so it was getting pretty quiet. Yeah. Um, and I had thousands of dollars of Magic cards in a backpack on my back. Oh really? Yeah. And well, I was that like, seems foolish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just I keep all my stuff together because it's trade stuff, you know, and you gotta have yeah. all your oh shit. Um, but uh, I was like, man, I, I'm all by myself right now. I've never been afraid of being mugged before, but someone could just run up and grab this backpack off of me. Yep. And I wouldn't really Easily. have a way to deal with that. And, like, that's not a super dangerous part of town, but at night and at alone, you know, that that kind of crime could easily happen. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, next time on Instant Replay Live, less fears, more Viking ass kicking in Volgar the Viking. <laughs> Wow, wow. You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.